different infiltrators from both sides because clearly Mark Dice's videos did not cause any uh, you know violation of, of, of rules. He goes out and interviews real people in public like jaywalking Jay Leno and says, should we put all Republicans in death camps? 90 plus percent of the Californians say, yes, I want to kill them and sign the form. And in many cases, he even blurs their faces out, even though it's in public. It's like the news can walk up to you and talk to you. They had a concerted effort to take his channels down. They're trying to take our channels down that have over 500 million views, all of them together, not counting other channels that have hundreds of millions of views. I have films on YouTube with 14 million views, 15 million views, 10 million views, 8 million views. They cannot deal with us, folks. We are absolutely just hurting them badly just in that venue. Now, I'm blessed because I've got old dinosaur media, but the only true dinosaur media that's still standing, kind of like the alligators still around or the crocodile, is talk radio. Because it was alternative media when there was no internet. When the Fairness Doctrine got ended by the Reagan administration and lawyers that we've interviewed on air, the former head lawyer for the FCC, produced fine. That's why you had the proto-internet in talk radio. They want to shut that down too as well. We'll be right back. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male vitality infowarslife.com why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet, the highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease? It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products, and get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it, and out of the gate, 
rates. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888 253 3139. Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. Live from the Infowars.com studios, it's Alex Jones. Revolution in their minds. The children start to march. They want the republic. They want America back. They don't care if the Democratic or Republican Party stands in their way. They will go up and over the top of any enemy, foreign or domestic. I am your host, Alex Jones. David Knight is back at the InfoWars News Command Center riding shotgun with us. We're going to have uh, Mark Dice, uh, media critic, uh, who's been on Fox News, CNN many times. He's been very successful, C-SPAN, uh, best-selling author, who's been critical of me some in the past. Why would I then play his videos on air? Why would I promote him? Because he does a good job on the street. And he's not a communist, he's not a socialist, he's fighting the New World Order. And that's the big enemy that's trying to take my guns, that's saying my kids belong to them, that wants to exempt mega corporations from taxes, but raise my taxes to give them banker bailout money. That's my enemy. And so Dice's site, his YouTube channels, with, I don't know, 50, 60-something million views or more, I know that's conservative, I think one of the channels had that. Um, we have screenshots of it. You know, why would I get on the phone and, 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 and give him emails to high-level people inside YouTube just so they could review that some of their master uh, moderators were censoring the First Amendment and that they better review it and understand that clearly he didn't violate their terms of service and that they want a big controversy on their hands? Why would I do that for somebody, some other media person, somebody who's been critical of me? Because, folks, I'm for the First Amendment. And I know the rules of YouTube, and I know the rules of how it's a public commons, and I know how they're shutting down libertarians and conservatives and patriots and Christians everywhere. And I know how uh, thousands of conservatives and libertarians, the New York Times reports, have to meet in secret in Los Angeles because they'll be blackballed if they discover that they're not Democrats. That is tyranny. That's beyond McCarthyism. And I'm against McCarthyism in the manifestation of McCarthy, and I'm against McCarthyism squared under the Democrats. I stand with the First Amendment, because if we don't stand together, we will hang separate. I wanted to bring David Knight in, and then I'm going to go over the Constellation, the Cornucopia, uh, the, 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 the 15 or so torpedoes at free speech, not just here, but worldwide. I've got a whole list here I've written. I'm going to break that down. But first, uh, before we go to David Knight, of the, of the hundreds of videos he's put out, that Drudge perennially, you know, or, or continually links to uh, when we write stories about him. Here's one where, and this is unedited, folks. He'll go out and show whoever he talked to. I mean, he clips out the spaces, but 90 plus percent of Californians want, say they want to put all gun owners in camps. They want to uh, bring in communism. They want to arrest uh, all conservatives. These are people that speak clear English, black, white, doesn't matter. They don't want this out, folks. And other people are starting to copy what I did first, what Mark started doing, and now a bunch of college students on their colleges are showing the cult, fake, liberal, fascist, authoritarian weirdos calling for ending free speech. I'm seeing videos every day that we're putting on InfoWars.com where people are, are going to press conferences and asking real questions as citizen journalists, where they're going into classrooms at colleges and bringing up issues, where they're on the street talking to people, showing how evil they are, how dumbed down they are. The system doesn't want you to see this. They want to make modern liberalism look trendy and, and intellectual, not dumbed down and authoritarian and kleptocratic. So this is what they censored and banned for two days. 
Here's a clip. We hope to repeal the Second Amendment and keep guns off the campus and keep everybody safe. We just want to make sure that we support Obama and the Bilderberg Group and just disarm the citizens. We could trust the government to be the only ones with guns. You have birth date and a signature to repeal the Second Amendment. These peasants don't need guns, so thanks for supporting okay. that. I appreciate that. Uh, thanks for your help. We're trying to repeal the Second Amendment and put all gun owners in prison. The registered gun owners yeah. put them in prison. Yeah. Thank you for supporting that. Thank you. I think it's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. They don't need these guns yeah, anymore. Only the police need the guns, right? Yeah, right. We could trust them. Mm -hmm. Have a good day. Thank you. All right, that's enough. It's like an eight-minute video, and, 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 and he talks to a guy in pure clear English, is an older white guy. He goes, we just need to take all the guns and put them in the camp. And the guy goes, buddy, you don't have to tell me, and signs it and shakes his hand. We're going we're gonna to put them in a forced labor camp and take all their guns because they're bad. And the guy goes, you don't have to tell me. You want to arrest me because I own a gun, you nutball? So this is what they don't want to see. And I'm telling you, it scares them. We've had our YouTube shut down before. We've had our Facebook shut down before. We've had our Twitters. And people say, well, just don't get a Twitter or a Facebook then, Alex. They advertise as commons. They want to be the web. So they say, you bring your content there, and that then if you follow the rules, you can be there. Well, we follow the rules. We dominate as real liberals like Thomas Jefferson against the fascist liberals, and they want to shut us down. And I'm going to go over a bunch of examples. This is only one small part of the censorship happening, and I want you to understand the modern book burning for what it is, the modern gagging for what it is. But I wanted to get David Knight's take on what we're seeing here. And, and again, why real media? I don't care if you're liberal or conservative. When I saw Dinesh D'Souza arrested, clearly for, for stuff that wasn't even against the law, giving thousands of dollars to his friend for a Senate run. Imagine if Michael Moore had been arrested after his movie came out against Bush. Even though I didn't agree with Michael Moore, I would have come out for him. I mean, where's the basic instinct in the media to stand for each other? Where is the people's basic instinct? David Knight. Well, Alex, I think it's time for some people on the left to basically start looking at the free speech and due process issues that these things all bring up. You know, we've seen over and over again, we've seen ACTA, PIPA, SOPA, CISPA twice. We see them trying to set up a regime where they can pull down websites, not just videos, not just YouTube sites, but uh, just entire websites. And of course, when one of these was being protested, a lot of people blacked out their site for a day because that was exactly what's going to happen with this stuff. They're going to be able to take it down. And there's this spirit of censorship that the liberals are giving a pass to because it's their guy. They need to wake up to this. This is, we look at executive orders that uh, Obama has put out over this Ukraine thing, where he's going to bar people who disagree with him from entering the country, where he's going to confiscate possessions of people in this country. That's not just aliens, but it's people who are here it in this is country. Unprecedented. And notice suddenly our government will not criticize communist China and their rampant human rights abuse. Yes. Yes, I've had some commenters point out, and it's like, yeah, I should have mentioned this when we talked about it on the nightly news, that what Obama's executive orders did, shutting down aliens who say something about uh, his foreign policy in Ukraine, keeping them out of the country, confiscating the, the possessions of people in this country who criticize his policy, that's very similar to the Alien and Sedition Acts that we had at the very beginning of this republic. And we understand that we had the Kentucky resolutions, we had the nullification talk that came from Jefferson and others pushing back against us, saying this strikes at the very heart of the republic. It certainly does. When I come back, we're going to bring Mark Dice up and continue to get your commentary and analysis with David Knight. I'm your host, Alex Jones. And I want to just mention the different ways they're censoring when we come back. Just a few of them. And there's a lot of others. I mean, it's a mass attack. And they want to deny it's going on. They don't want to have a public debate about this. This is going on. This is what the dictator's final step is because we're winning. 
Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security.